just about to recommence here at the uh, for the second quarter. Doesn't look like the either side have made too many positional moves with Bringier again going, going to full forward, King will again that forward line. The break watching this third quarter, second quarter could be lands with lay. Good kick of the football from outside 50. Ball thrown up in the middle of the ground. Muir gets the ball, leaves it behind, picked up by Brent Swinnes and kicked into the half forward line, picked up there. Nice clean pick up by Pittman. Turns around and goes forward, looks towards Troy. Had it in his hand, dropped it, put it down. Goes back and collects it again. Went to hand it out to Briggy. Briggy can't get it, has it now. Went to kick round the corner. Good pressure there from the defence. Now there's a free kick being given and Said he dropped the ball, but I couldn't see that. But anyway, so the ball is picked up. Yeah, it's actually got the right. I'll have to have it cleanly anyway. But David Peel for Inverley has the ball. Kicks around the corner. And a nice little kick. Found space. And McConaughey comes off from that far side wing. Transfers play back inside. Oh. Dangerous kick. Got through Pittman. Ends up with Muir. Good hands off to McHenry. Through the uh, half back line. Goes in towards half forward. Higgledon playing up forward. It's uh, where we wanted to see him. And now he kicks around the corner. Goes into the forward line. Ansel. Good method spoil there from Matheson. Try to front of the contest. Handballs back towards Ansel. Had a bit too much carry on it. Armistead picks it up. Goes back to Matheson. Matheson now feeds the ball back. Ends up with Reynolds. Reynolds goes to Fletcher. He'll spin and goes back towards Reynolds. Good oh, tackle from tackle. Muir. Ball comes out in the tackle. And and it's uh, Fletcher that recovers it. Another good tackle laid. And it's a high indication there. So the umpire, or well, one umpire says it's high, but the other <laughs> umpire said no, it was a great tackle. And David Peel wins the free kick. So he's outside forward 50. He's waiting for things to open up in front of him. Goes towards Forbes. Marshall sees there with him. Ball cuts down, picked up by Trotter, handball back to Ryan Gerard. So he goes looking for his left foot, natural side, runs towards the pocket, kicks round the corner, brings it back oh. and brings it back, and he kicks a goal. Simmons and uh, Quinn Liven, that's an interesting matchup in the middle of the ground, both on ballers as the ball goes up in the air again. Hybens beaten on that occasion by Swenison, but at ground level in Valley, Hybens does really well. That's uh, dropping the ball. Great tackle, Hybens. Followed up there and uh, has earned the free kick. So Hybens for Inverlee. Two half forward player on his own. That's uh, Peel again, is it? Yep. As uh, he goes to the lead, that full forward. And for the first time, I would suggest for the game, Ansel has got away from Matheson. And uh, Matheson, the true blue defender, trying to grab just a couple of metres on the mark. And it will be a very good kick for Ansel because uh, he'll be kicking from just inside 50 to uh, what we would consider into uh, a mild breeze. But here's Ansel now. Can he answer the challenge? Moves in. Very close to the man, the marks. A good looking kick off the boot, but he's uh, sprayed it to the right hand side and has kicked his second behind for the game. Four goals, seven, 31 in Belize. 3 1 19 North Geelong. Buckley's Entertainment Centre, second quarter scoreboard, three and a half minutes gone. So Taylor Reynolds again with the ball in that fullback position and is looking to drink the ball out of defence. Goes in long and it gets through the contest. Picked up there by Hybens. He's tackled by Armistead. Tackles, comes out. He's holding the ball up. Umpires had an opportunity to have a look at that, but picked up by Swinnison. Kicks round the corner and will find his brother in Brent. So Brent Swinnison, just a defensive end for the North Geelong side, has the ball, goes back outside to Kane. Actually, it's not. He's moved forward. It's Armistead out there by himself. So Armistead, he's now got the ball on the half-back line. Needs to uh, keep the ball moving for them to have any chance. Then quickly, the ball goes in towards the centre wing. Mark's not taken. At ground level, the ball picked up there by Nelson. Now it's picked up there by Pittman. Pittman looks for Swenison. He dies over the top. Taken high. Fitzsimmons with the ball. Goes out wide to Fletcher. So Fletcher's now able to run. Carry. Kick the ball into the half forward line. Goes looking towards Briggy. The ball goes wide. Too wide. So Peel now at centre half back. Has the ball. So the ball now in centre of the ground for Inverleed. They come wide towards the, the running player in Brackley. He can't take the mark on centre wing. Recovers quickly. Little short chip pass that's uh, into the middle of the ground. Running fast is Hill for the Inverleed side. But uh, interception there from uh, Fitzsimmons for North Geelong. The long kick to half forward and the mark taken there for them by Pittman. Goes towards the, uh, the lead at uh, centre half forward. And it's Troy for North Geelong's taking the mark. 40 metres out directly in front. And with the aid of uh, a little bit of a breeze, every, every chance for Troy for North Geelong. He gets the ball high and long. It's touched right on the line. What is the goal umpire going to tell us? It is a goal. So that's... Uh, Nicky 4-2. 
Bell Post Hill, 6-4, lead Belmont Lions, one goal. Carrillo, four goals, seven, as we said, the four goals, one. North Geelong with that goal, and the ball with the umpires. So it's Swinnerson up against Tyburn's back in the middle of the ground. Work, tap, ball goes through, and there's a free kick being given for off the ball, and the resulting free kick goes towards Peel. So David Peel, the resulting free kick from the middle of the ground, plays on now, runs, kicks in towards the half-forward line. Hansel on a long-searching lead. Again, Matheson not too far behind. Ball gets through that contest, picked up there. Try to dive in the ball, needs to feed the ball out. Fair bit of trouble here, I think. He's dived on the ball. And the ump so on the half-forward line, umpire throws the ball in the air. Hybens went for the big thump, didn't get too much contact on the ball, picked up and the ball is now in dispute. Hybens on hands and knees, goes back and collects it again near the boundary line. There's a free kick, no, it's an umpire says it's play on. Hamble comes out and Fletcher's away. Good chase down there by Hill, didn't get clean disposal, the umpire called it. And Lockie Hill, the resulting free kick. So he's got the ball on centre wing, then go back behind the mark, I think you have to come back Lockie. And Lockie Hill will come back from that position now. So Hill has the resulting free kick and a good chase. So two young blokes, a lot of pace. Ball goes in towards Ansel again. Sun shutting his eye. Matheson from behind. Knocks the ball down. Picked up there by Higgelin. Steps around. Chips over the top. Goes looking for Peel. Peel doesn't take the mark, but I think there's going to be a free kick. And the resulting free kick. Going here to change for uh, Inverlee. It's uh, quite prevalent and uh, must assist them in the way they're going about their game. So David Peel comes in from about 25 metres out. Nice looking kick off the boot. Umpire goes across, but he's coming back. He says that's okay. And it's through. It's pretty hard. So he's done a great job for Inverlee and uh, he's, he's winning most of those contests in the centre of the ground too. Well, we're about to see another one because uh, Hybens and Swenerson, Kane Swenerson, they contest it. Hybens once again, beautiful tap down to Trotter. The old-fashioned rover there. He uh, does a great job in getting the ball forward. Garrard punches it forward again. Here's some good play again by uh, Inverlee. Picked up there by McConaughey towards full forward. There's uh, just sheer strength by Forbes on that occasion. Oh, luck is a fortune because, uh, well, I guess... Marcus Forbes lost one in the way you perceived it playing in the forward line. So, well done to Marcus Forbes. Has his second of the afternoon, as we said. So the ball back in the middle of the ground. Hybrids again. Nice clean tap out. Goes towards Muir. Fend off, says the umpire. And the resulting free kick goes to Brent Swinnerson. Quick hands. Goes towards Fitzsimmons. He's uh, about to be tackled. Got the ball out again. Well done. Ball goes into the half forward line. Kingwell gets a bad bounce. Picked up there from McHenry from Beenvalee at the centre half back. Decides to go back towards centre wing. Kenyon in front. Taps the ball down. Oh, good play there. I think that's Woodhouse. He does well. Spins out of the contest. Went for that assistance, but found Trotter. Goes back to Gerard. Gerard goes back to Hybens. And Hybens at the back of the square. Has time to steady. Nice looking kick going forward, but has too much carry on up over the top of Carr. And the mark has been taken there by Reynolds. So Reynolds of North Geelong. Back towards centre wing. Picked up there, Swinnerson. Brent. Has the mark. Has players further afield. Looking for a shorter option. Taylor Reynolds running from behind. Fletcher from the side. Raises he wants to go that way. But another short kick. Goes looking for and won't find uh, Swinnerson. Gives Nelson one over the ears. And Ben Nelson will get to his feet. Tough young bloke. This fella, he won't worry about that too much. And Nelson with the ball on the half back line. So Nelson Stop. now, long kick towards half forward for uh, Bannikman in front again. Ansel, long way from goal. And uh, this quarter, he's perhaps playing more centre half forward than full forward. He's gone looking for Forbes, and Forbes, well, in one on one contests, he's just far too good for uh, Marshall C. And uh, the experience showed out on that occasion. That's not a bad move, Dale, switching the two of them. As Forbes now. We went to play on and uh, probably not a good move as uh, the umpire had signalled time off to line up the, uh, the player. Not confident, I'd suggest, about uh, having a shot at goal, but now he's going to. We're right behind the line of the kick and uh, it's sprayed to the left-hand side. Won't get the distance either. Inverlee, players uh, contest there, desperate to get the footy. They've sport one another and stacks on the mill at the moment. Uh, it finally comes out to who? It's gone back. Uh, that was an Inverlee player. Kicked it down, and Van Creeken's taken the mark on half-back flank. So uh, it's good defensive work. Back in the middle of the ground, one-on-one, -on -one, the two Ruckman. Hybens, too good for Swenerson, but at the ground level, Swenerson gets foot to the ground. Uh, Trotter, handball, goes to Muir. Muir now, a control kick to... Uh, for, looking for Forbes. Can't find him there. Hickleton now approaches the footy. He gets through a tackle far too easily. He's on the... Uh, non-preferred side, has a bounce, has a pot shot at goal and hit the inside of the post. So behind there to Zach Hickel, same with second quarter scoreboard, 
13 minutes gone. So ball's brought out from uh, the defensive end. Good spoil from behind. Picked up there by Brent Swinnerson. Kicks further afield. Didn't have much carry on it. Went as far as Trotter. Trotter goes back by hand to Nelson. And Nelson coming through the middle of the ground. Links up with Hybens. Gives him the handball. Hybens turns, spins. Kicks into the forward line. The mark has been taken there by Ryan Gerrard. About 40 metres out from goal. Directly in front. He's not as bad as we think. From almost directly in front. Comes in on that left foot. Nice looking kick. Kick goes wide though, towards the boundary line post. And it's going to be sitting there in a contest. The umpire is going to come in and touch flopped again, Eric. And the ball thrown up from that position. Tap down, picked up there by Van Creeken. Goes back to Armistead. He goes out wide. And a mark's been taken out there by Andrews. So he's in the half back line. Goes towards the centre wing. Mark taken by Lansbury Low. Still defensive side of wing. Kicks quickly round the corner. Went looking for Harvey. Great. A nice weighted kick. And Mark Harvey takes the resulting for the mark on the half forward line this time. So Lansbury Low has run on. Now this is within his realms. He kicks the ball in long. Goes towards the goal square. Briggy has the sit oh. over the top. And Paul Briggy has taken the mark. Brent Link thought he touched it. Briggy plays on, kicks round the corner. And Paul Briggy gilds up goal number three and five. For Eventually from the forward 50 into the goal square. So the ball back in the middle of the ground again. It's the uh, ruck work's done. Gerard intercepts. He's tackled. Umpire says he dropped the ball. Thought he's going to pay in the back then for a minute. But it comes out of defence. Goes back into the half forward line. Brackley reads the flight of the ball very nicely. And over the top of Pittman takes the mark. Transfers play back into the centre of the ground. Carr. Oh, that is bootlaces. Takes the mark and plays on. Goes out wide. Peel. Fine space again. Running player from behind is going to be Hutchison on the field. Kicks into the forward pocket. Mark. Good clean pick up there. Matheson not too far behind again. Packles brings him down and that's Ansel I'm talking about. The umpire says the free kick. I agree. <coughs> so it's going to be the free kick to Ansel in the forward pocket and can't kick him in front but this could be one that he just yes. right through the middle. <laughs> so Ansel comes in now. Kicks towards the goal square. It's going to land in the goal square. Forbes, Higgledon over the top. Ball gets through the contest and through for a minor score. Lead North Geelong on five goals, one. Taylor Reynolds decides to play on from that fullback position. Goes out wide. Harvey again has space by himself. Kingwell needs to come at the kicker, decides to go long, so it's going to be the player in Pittman that he's looking for. Brackley can't get the spoil of the ball this time, but the ball gets to the ground. Overrunning it now, the ball picked up by Nelson. Can't deal it. Gillett's in there. He tries to get a boot in the ball. Umpire very quick to call that one, and again, free kick going to North Geelong, and Swenison goes back towards Armistead. Play on now, and there's been some abuse from the bench, and it's going to be a 50-metre free kick. And Brent Swenison will go from about 65 to about 15 or 20 out from goal. <laughs> that off the long bench. <laughs> so we're not too sure where the free kick's been given against, but 50 metres against Timberley. And Swenison with a chance to kick a goal comes in and he will sneak it in for a goal. So North Geelong with the last two goals. It's better side and they even look better side doing it. So listen. Something's happened at centre half forward before the bounce. And uh, the free kick has gone to. Uh, North Geelong before the ball was even bounced in the centre of the ground. Now the umpire is trying to explain his, his movements and uh, he ought to just get out of the way as far as I'm concerned. In the, in the interim, Invalide through Brackley have taken the ball, crossed to Ling. Great work there by uh, Briggy. Followed the ball up, smothered the, uh, the kick off the boot and now Invalide having real trouble getting it out of defensive half. Now the umpire has said, I'll have a ball up just outside the 50 metre arc. Half forward flank for North Geelong. Kicking to the northern end in this uh, second quarter. To Ruckman there, Hybens gets a tap down. Uh, free kick against uh, Swenison for a ruck infringement there. It's gone to Hybens. So at the 19 and a half minute mark of the second quarter, it is game on here as the ball goes towards the middle of the ground. Reynolds read that well in the middle of the ground. Plays on quickly. Head of the mark, gets a handball across to uh, Lansbury Low. His long kick inside forward 50. In front there was uh, the North Geelong player. The ball tapped to ground by the uh, Inverley defence. They're having real trouble at the uh, defensive 50. Good pick up Pittman. He's tackled by two. Gets a handball away. Ball falls clear. Now, can they get the ball clear? Inverley. They go towards centre wing. Fenton, uh, sorry, Kenyon went one-handed. Yeah. 
20 and a half minutes gone in this second quarter. 6-9 plays 6-1 in Valine. So the ball comes in from the ruck contest. Picked up by Van Creek and goes back in towards centre forward. Fitzsimmons there. Taken off the ball. Kicked up by Kingwell. Kicks round the corner quickly. Oh, a lucky kick. It's been marked there by uh, Briggy. And he has taken the mark. Only a couple of metres out from goal. Very quick play on situation. And he has kicked goal number four. Competitor in the middle of the ground. Hybrids has probably got most tap outs. But the umpire about to restart play. Back in the middle of the ground. Umpire throws it up. Hybens again over the top. Missed the first one. Went towards Muir. They've worked hard in there North Geelong. And that's what they've done well. They've been able to hold them up from that run. And the ball, again, Hybens getting down. and Loves to get down to the big fella. The ball goes towards Hutchison. He feeds the ball back to Hybens. Hybens, a little quick hands. Goes back to Hutchison, who kicks around the corner of the half-forward line. Coming out to meet the ball is Forbes. The big fella put his body in line, but it's Campbell. Goes back. Ends up with Woodhouse. Kicked around the corner. Van Creek. And this will need to be good. Land Low. Great pick up. Handball goes back to Van Creek and from the half back line chips out wide and the mark will be taken out there by Fitzsimmons. So on centre wing, decides to play on quickly. That's what they've done well. Goes looking towards Kingwell. Turns his player inside hand. McHenry does well. Doesn't overcommit. Gets a tackle on. Went back to Harvey. Goes towards Jones. Jones is under pressure and the ball has been in the forward pocket for North Geelong. So some good movement again. They've got the ball into that area, in between the forward, half forward and the forward pocket. Hybens just taps the ball down. Oh, that was in the back from where I was sitting, but the umpire's allowed the ball to go on. And it's going to... Uh, <laughs> so the ball in that forward line. Kimball this time does the ruck work. The ball tapped down by Hybens again. It's picked up. North Geelong can't get a queen kick away. And again, the ball goes over the boundary line. North Geelong on 7-1-43. Interesting observation I made. Clayton Trotter in the... In the uh interchange is uh, spending a bit of time off the ground it's then when North Geelong do pretty well and he's off the ground at the moment as uh, North Geelong again ball back into the goal square <coughs> and it is uh, Kenyon take it looking for and finding Peel Peel and half back flank for Inverlee looking to go back into the corridor that would have been dangerous decides to go along the uh, the boundary a great mark there from Quinn Levin in front, got up high and uh, one grab mark now goes forward looking for Muir finds him just forward of centre wing now for Inverleed. They need a goal here before half-time. That's where 24 minutes gone. Back into the corridor. Dangerous kick and uh, a terrific effort there from Andrews for North Geelong. But oh, Hybens does well. Gets down to ground level. Gets a handball across. And now away goes Hill. Has a bounce. Goes towards full forward. Not a well-directed kick. Nobody there. The only person who can get to it is Matheson. But he's happy to uh, see the ball deep in the forward line for Inverleed. Needs a score. Marshall C gets a tap down for North Geelong. Oh. Now there's a whistle. Anything they can get at the moment. As the free kick has gone to McFadden, I think Peel was trying to take it. Mark's only five metres out, but the angle is reasonably acute. He gets the ball low and goes across the face. That's why, uh, obviously... North Geelong just playing the congestion at centre-half back. Kicks out wide. The mark is taken by Armistead. So Armistead has the ball now. Needs to deliver the ball, goes back in towards the centre of the ground. It's a nice looking kick, so their foot skills are sensational here. And the mark has been taken there by Swinnis and transfers back outside. And Armistead is pushed up from behind. So this is where they need to keep the ball rolling. Have players on the far side of the ground if they want to go that way, but he decides to go back towards centre half forward, looking towards Kingwell. Kingwell in front. That's a good mark from the big fella. That's what they need him to do. But he's pretty confident. He's uh, turned his back on the plate. He, so he's good lining kick up. normally. He's a good kicker for football. I reckon this is right on testing distance, though. If he's inside 50, I reckon he's a chance. But he might be just kicking from 55. That's a nice-looking kick of the football. And... Oh! <laughs> if you don't mind, Paul Briggy says, I'll take this. Was going through for a goal, but I'll take number five. So, Paul Briggy marks in the goal square and will go back and kick for goal. It was a sensational mark. He was going fourth in line and went right over the pack. At Paul Briggy, he has goal number five and the eighth goal for North. With the footy once again, Swenison and Hyben. Swenison probably got the better, but it went to Muir. Muir went to handball, decides to kick it. He's put to ground after he's kicked the footy. If the umpire was uh, the other fellow in charge, it would have been a free kick down the ground. But uh, the ball is now in the forward area for Inverlee. North Geelong working hard to bring it out. Fitzsimmons picks it up. Has time, a little kick around the body, has found Swenison. Swenison, lovely handball over to Armistead. Armistead 
Put the footy down, grab without the footy, umpires says play on. A lot of infringements here, not being paid. Fitzsimmons with strength. Handball across to a Lansbury low. A lovely pass as again found his teammate in Pittman. And uh, very, very good game from young Lansbury low so far in the game. So Pittman there, 35 metres out, almost directly in front, perhaps a little towards the 45 degree angle, but the opportunity to extend the North Geelong lead very close to half time. Pittman runs to the right, it's a good looking kick off the boot, the wind brings it back beautifully, and first goal for Pittman. Uh, probably as good as we've seen all year from any side, I think. So that's kept them in the game. And obviously their accurate kicking has been a, a feature for them this afternoon. Their ability to play on at every cost, that, that's been yeah. the, the difference. I, I don't think. think they've got many options. They have to do that and it's worked for them. So the ruck work's done by Hyben. Gets his own tap down, goes into the half forward line. Coming up with McConaughey. Ball's picked up there. Went to Reynolds. Reynolds go back to Armistead. Lifts his arms, does well. Young fella there in um, Lachlan Wright does well and gets a handball out to the half back line now. Ends up towards Lockie Hill. McKnight's on the ground. Ball picked up by Van Creek and kicks around the corner. Goes towards Swenison. Oh, didn't take the mark there. So now it's under pressure because uh, coming from the pack is Muir. Has good eyes. Looks up and sees Peel on centre wing. Player further feels McConaughey so he can run and carry the ball here. So McConaughey from the outside 50. Decides to go in long and quick into the half forward line. Or full forward line, I should say. Reynolds gets back to support Matheson, who's been sensational at that end of the ground. Kicks out, goes looking for McKnight. Over the top of the pack. Gets through the contest. A free kick there. Probably Pay that one. It's probably one decision he did make that was right. Penalised uh, the side, though. Uh, yeah, away. probably did. He was away. McKnight had the ball and went outside of Van Creeken. Plays on quickly. Goes into the half forward line. Kingwell leads out. McHenry does well. Gets his hand to the ball. Goes back and collects it. Kingwell lays a good tackle. Picked up by Hybens. Goes back. Finds Hutchison. Hutchison further back to Nelson. Nelson kicks into the half forward line. Now for Inverley. Going back. Hills there. Good pace. Can't keep the ball in front of himself. Picked up by Van Creeken again. Able to feed a handball through. Went towards Swenison. Swenison goes in further afield and will find Woodhouse kicks into the half forward line for Inverley numbers with Inverley and coming through for Inverley will be Purcell goes back into the centre nice looking kick Muir Muir plays on quickly goes looking for Ansel again Matheson's there oh, does well puts a spoil on the ball at the back of the pack McConaughey tried to kick the ball off the ground the young fella picks the ball up and it goes back towards Marshall C from centre half back the game's really listed a notch into the half forward line gets through two players picked up there by Nelson thought he threw that Lansbury low this is in range chips the ball short oh. looking for as a siren sounds to end the first half of football which will see North Geelong go in at nine goals one fifty five to lead Inverley on six ten the 46 I believe so uh, a little margin there to North Geelong goal kickers for North Geelong five to Paul Briggy one to Luke Van Creeken